All right, so I, I said this yesterday because it, it just screamed out, so it's, it wasn't that profound. I thought they were going to do the uh, his calf hurt and uh, put him on the IL for a bit and then go down and... Whew. I mean, I think it's more than that. Like, first of all, let me back up. In, unless we're in the training room and we know what's really going on physically, because yeah. we don't. Right. I, I would start with that. Okay. So if it's not physical, then it becomes mental or mechanical. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's probably more mental than mechanical because I, I looked at his delivery and it looks similar to last year when he had a 2 2 4. Yeah. So it, get away from it. They'll have technology down there, okay. evaluation, whether it's they put him in the lab, uh, look at comparisons where that he doesn't have to worry about results. So to answer your question, he's going down to Dunedin on some backfield or some six-pack bullpen, and he can work with the coordinator and whoever else they have down there to clear his mind because he's got to get his stuff back. Yep. And, it, and it just obviously hasn't been the same. He said publicly, Al, to your point, that he's stuck in between, and you would know this much better than me, the confidence of saying, I want to execute this pitch right here as opposed to I don't want to throw it there. And then all of a sudden, mentally, it's not about what you want to do. It's you're thinking about what you don't want to do, yeah. which makes it really hard to execute. The only reason why I would think it might be a little mechanical slash physical, especially watching uh, the game where he didn't get out of the first. Yeah. Uh, he's thrown a lot of what are two seamers, sinker, and it's really carrying. So it tells me, you know, something is off. His hand is, his hand is a little further off. Something is off to where he, it's not Finish. the same flight. Okay. Because velocity-wise, it's it's similar. He's not far off velocity-wise. This is not the outcome he wanted, but is any part of him going, okay, now I don't have all eyes on me. I can just work on my craft. Well, that's why they're going to the complex. That's why you're not going to AAA or AA mm -hmm. where you're pitching in a stadium. Yeah. There's fans and everything else. You're going to go to, like Al said, a backfield, the complex. And I think it is the biggest thing is just take the deep breath. Yep. And spend a couple weeks down there. Uh, stay strong. Um, try to get right more on the mental side because I do believe there's something there. Um, go down there, chill out for a couple weeks, come back up here and help us get it to get this thing done. Well, Toronto is the only big league team this year that's used no more than five starters, so it is a big void to mm. fill. Luis Arise, all eyes on you. He was 0 for 2 in his first two at bats, and then he went to work. I was thinking about this last night, Bill. What does a guy who consistently hits for average do better than others? Well, one, with Luis Rise, he refuses to strike out. Yep. And yeah. look, this is not rocket science in my world. Um, go up to home plate, compete, find a way to figure out where your barrel of the bat is and the baseball is. And that's what he does. He's not trying to go 430 feet up this way. Number one, he probably knows he can't. Mm. But what he can do, and I think everybody would like a team full of these guys yeah. mm -hmm. that go up to home plate, refuse to strike out, put the ball in play. Would they? Well, I would hope they would. I don't think so. Well, I know I would. It's about velo off the bat, launch angle, yeah. distance. It's physics. I'm with you. I am, yeah. I am so with you, Bill. If we celebrate him mm -hmm. every day, right. every week, yeah. then trust me, there are going to be kids at home yeah. around the country and around the world saying, you know what? This is what we love at MLB Network is, yeah. is the subtlety, the fundamentals. And I think that the fun of watching him do it, Al, it's, it's, he, he is an artist out there. You know where that ends on deaf ears? The people who actually are making the decisions. And It'll take the, a while. Pay the money. Yeah, the, the, the people who have their computers out laughing at this because they're like, ha you know, one for four with uh, three run homers, way better. Right, well, here, but, here, but here's the funny thing about this. We, we, we talk about and build teams one way, and this is a longer conversation, but I'll make the point quickly. We build a team for one way for six months of the regular season. But what wins in October is different. Who is who is the most valuable player for the Nationals in 2019? Howie Kendrick. Yeah. Veteran who put the bat on the ball. Right. Those guys, Adam Eaton, the, the base it up the middle of Houston. That's what wins games in October. Let's let bookmark this. Come back to it in October because guys like Arias win you yeah, championships. Yeah. Marlins, a playoff they team. Don't the season That's ended right. today. So are the Diamondbacks, gentlemen, who lead the West. If you look at the standings, they have a one game lead over the Dodgers. And last night, eight guys got a hit. Four guys got two. It's been balanced. They're 10 wins better than last year <laughs> at this time. Well, Why? When, when you look at a team that is somewhat surprising, and I think it's fair to say that the D backs are surprising us a little bit. There's contributions up and down the lineup. 
It's not because one guy's going out there and carrying the freight. It just doesn't happen that way. We're going to take a look at the Texas Rangers here in a little bit. Me and Al will sit over there at the Skybox and have another seven-hour segment. We don't have that much and get, time. Yes, we do. <laughs> but the idea of someone like the Texas Rangers doing what they're doing, surprising some people, and the Arizona Diamondbacks, you will have contributions up and down the lineup that, that carry the team to this record, period. Yeah. Uh, two guys, Zach Gallen will potentially be a Cy Young winner. He's so good. I mean, he's that. he might be the most valuable pitcher in baseball right now. And Geraldo Perdomo, mm. find a switch hitting shortstop who can play like him. And as I mentioned earlier, he's got the best nickname in baseball. Sam, like from Ted Lasso, Sam Obasanya, because he carries himself with joy. Mm. Great teammate, heart and soul of the team. Arizona Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. That's a great nickname, Sam. Not yes. Corbin Carroll. What's his nickname? I, I got to I got to research that one. Yeah, I like that. I, I, my my bio only goes so far, Al. 